This is truly the coolest tip-up I have ever seen. And it lights up when there's a fish, so at night you can find it and you can leave it out all night, which is perfect when you're fishing out of like an ice castle. You can get this at Shields. That's about all I know about it. <laughs> and I'm gonna be ready for it. I'm gonna be ready for the lights to go off. It went off! <laughs> so on a much more serious note, we're just gonna go over some camera stuff today. I haven't been able to catch a fish for 24 hours. We caught like one in the ice castle. So this will be a great chance to show you guys the camera I'm using since I've got so many questions. Um, and also kind of what I would recommend if you're gonna go with an aqua view, which route maybe would be better for you to go to. So is the handiest tool I recommend. Best $15 you will ever spend. So here's the Aquaview AV715C camera that I was talking about. Um, this is the camera that I have that I use that you guys have seen in all my videos. It's maybe not the highest quality choice. It's very much their base model. Um, and I'll go over some of the positives, go over some of the older footage, newer footage, how you can get um, it's so you can record straight to your phone instead of doing a camera on a camera like I've done on a lot of videos uh, Also kind of go over the pros and cons and what I think you guys will like better with this unit. So let's begin So as you can see the body on this camera is absolutely huge It's got lights around the actual camera part on the end um, and the unit itself is just very large uh, That can maybe be a pro and a con it lets in a little more light clearer image has lights if you like that sort of thing but at the same time you know how it affects fish that's kind of maybe you know it could affect fish maybe a little more i don't know i've never read any studies on how that does that at watching it i've seen fish come right up to it but i've also seen other fish maybe be intimidated by it so if you're really into you know one of those people i just need to catch everything then this might not be the best option for you if you're just looking for some entertainment and you like seeing what's going on down there and it interests you then I obviously really recommend just any camera in general, maybe not one that is so big and large. As you can see in the image right now, it's low light conditions with a little bit of the light on. If I put too much light on, I actually end up getting a really bad glare. So this is low light, super clear lake, about 20 feet, right at dusk. Um, and then it obviously lightens up a lot once you're in shallower water on a clear day. This is another very clear lake. Um, I'm doing a camera on a camera here, so it looks a little funny, but we're maybe 12 feet on this instance, so there's plenty of light coming down. The image is clear. As you can see, the actual screen of the camera is an awesome size for seeing, you know, fish from a distance versus having one on a really small tablet or on your phone, whatever it may be. This is simple. It's right on that screen. The whole unit itself is really large, which you know it has its it's it's annoying it's it's heavy to carry around it's a pain in the butt to drop down it gets tangled up reeling it up's a pain but you know like you can see there in the distance it's actually kind of nice if you want to record that's definitely possible with this unit and that's what i love about it is you can get not only record with an external recorder um and a battery connection and like a video out cable but they also have a video out adapter i'm sure there's cheaper on off the market adapters you could easily hook up and do the same but their designated unit as you can see in this image um, comes in around 150 uh, and so if you already have one of these units that might be a super awesome option for you to record and really pull off that video content if you want to share it with other people save it to your phone save it to your you know, iPad your computer, put it in a YouTube video like I'm doing. I just picked up that unit. I'll show you guys how to set it up. Really, really simple. And it's a kind of an awesome addition that comes with these bigger, these bigger models versus the smaller ones I'm gonna show you in a bit. 
So as you can tell, the image on the left is a lot more clear. It's only in 12 feet, so there's a lot more light going down there. You can see a lot more detail. It's in color, where on the right, it's really black and white, grainy, tough to see. The right, there is no light on, um, and it, that's in about 30 feet plus, so that's why it's so hard to see. So definitely expect that. If you're gonna be fishing always in the deeps, this obviously might not be the best option for you, um, unless you have one of the higher end models with maybe a little bit of light system. So as you can see, this base model camera that I have, it comes in around $300, which is quite a bit for a kind of oversized, uh, you know, lunk of a camera. I'm sure you can find it on sale other places. Additionally, remember that the Wi-Fi adapter will cost you probably another $150, and if you want to just do a video out, you know, to an external recorder, that's probably going to cost you around $80 more. So add that in, and you're looking, you know around that $400, $450 mark. So I definitely have a better option for you that you should check out. So the model that I actually recommend, which is in my hand right here, is the Aquaview Micro 5.0 Revolution. And this is one of Aquaview's newer models. It's so compact. The image quality is fantastic. Uh, it has a DVR right on it so you can record on it while you're viewing. It's super small camera. Everything about it is really um, compact, portable, a lot better in almost every way I could think of. Uh, it's got a carrying case, which you can see I have in my arm right there. Uh, like I said, it records with the DVR on screen and also has video out. So you can take the video and put it in your video, in your YouTube videos. You can, you know, put it on social media. Uh, you just, the actual cable it comes with has a video out built in. So you're all ready to go. So the Aquaview Micro 5.0 Revolution comes in at only $350, which is only $50 more than the 715C. And considering you get all the same features, plus an on, um, on unit recorder, DVR system, you know, still a video out and a little bit of a different lighting system, you're actually getting a heck of a deal for $50 more. The portability alone is worth it. So I think that um, if I could redo it, that would be the camera I would go with. I have used it before and it has, it's a very fantastic unit, especially once I found out you could take video out of it. So I highly recommend that for anybody, you know, who's looking to, you know, upgrade their camera. Like I said, if you have one of the older units and you have the you know, video out part, you can always get like a Wi-Fi adapter or just an, even an external recorder. All you need is a little bit of external power, which there's converters for that, or you can just get an extra battery like I've done and you'll be ready to go. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit, kind of what I recommend and also the one that you're seeing. Both are great options, but for $50 more, you can get one heck of a, you know, deal with the Micro 5.0 Revolution. To me, that just seems like the no brainer and I recommend you guys go that route. So let me know what you, if you have any questions, let me know what you end up getting. And of course, please subscribe and follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, especially Instagram. Um, you can stay up to date with me there. And I will see you guys next week.